People may wonder why I'm here today. This is the memorial in South Armagh to 17 men who lay down their lives to protect this community. And what, what is there? Is there an 18 million pound project here? No. There's no shrine here for them. There's no 18 million being spent on them. My father's name's on this here. And two of my uncle's names is on this here. And two of my mates as well is on this. What is there for them? Nothing. While at the same time, people who murdered ten men just out over the fields here are going to be remembered in a shrine at the maze to the tune of £18 million. Is there any wonder our people are sick to the back teeth of what's going on? Where is the justice here? These men did have a choice. They could have stayed at home and not went out and made the sacrifice to protect the community. The other scum of in the maze had a choice not to go out and murder the people. They choose or chose to go out and murder. And what's happening? They're getting rewarded and our people are being neglected and basically told to go away. Do not annoy anybody. Well, it's not good enough. The suffering of this stone here could tell of all the names of the men that's on this stone, if their families were here to stand and tell the suffering that they went through so we could live in peace and freedom and have some type of justice, it would, take, it would take a tear out of a stone. But what are we asked to do? To shut up and go away. We're, we're basically the troublemakers. While at the same time, these 17 men, the men that killed them, could be linked into about a hundred odd murders. And some of them are connected to the H block, to the maze, hunger strikers. I say like, in this wee spot, in this wee area here, 17 men, who cares? Our politicians don't care. And I'm talking about both sets of politicians here. The only man to actually to, to do anything for victims and fair play them has been Jim Allister. Jim Allister got a ruling through Stormont there along with Ann Travers and fair play to them. They need to listen to the voice of the victims. We've been saying this for years. And until they do, this country is going nowhere. And they can just try to discredit us, they can intimidate us, they can jail us, they can kill us, they can do whatever they want. But there will always be men and women who will take a stand for what is right. And all we are asking is for the history of these people not to be tarnished by scum, the likes of the hunger strikers. Because to glorify them, they have to justify their actions, and in justifying their actions means justifying the killing of people like this. Well, we won't accept that. You have to listen to the victims. Jim Allister and Anne Travers and them done a brilliant job. That needs to be followed up. We've been saying it for years. They've tried to demonise ourselves, especially me and people like me, as dinosaurs. We're not dinosaurs. Our children is the future. And I can assure you, my father, or their grandfather, or their great-grandfathers are not going to be tarnished by the scum at the maze who will rewrite history and glorify what they did. There's men on this here who were kidnapped and murdered. Kidnapped. There's men around this area who's not on this who were very friendly with these people who were also kidnapped, tortured and brutally murdered. Just in this local vicinity here you have mass murder taking place. You had King's Mills just over the hills. You had Tully Vallon just up the road there. You had numerous two and three people killed here and there. Who cares? Who did it? Some of the hunger strikers. The very people that Jews want to build a shrine to. Well, the answer is we will not accept it.